four. And Portland, after that great start, has now lost eight of 11, six straight on the road. Um, they shoot under 37% in this game. Uh, how little fun are we talking about? Second night of a back-to-back, -back, and you arrive in Memphis <laughs> against this team with their approach to the NBA. Yeah, no, that, that's that's not a game you look forward to. I mean, that, that right there, this team, the way they're playing, Bickerstaff has them uh, believing. Uh, you have your, you know, your, your guys Conley and Gasol healthy, playing at a high level. This, this team is, you know, we were talking during the game, like in the playoffs, obviously this is a little early, but this is, this is a dangerous team. This is a dangerous team, a team that nobody really wants to play, which has kind of been their M.O. Mm -hmm. And as they've transitioned to this new era and maintained those two guys, it seems like it's just it's continued on. So this is this was a tough game, and, and they just smothered Portland and, and just kind of beat them ugly, doing what they do, and what they've done for for a long period of time. A tough night for for the Blazers because of the schedule, obviously. But this is a, there's a longer stretch here where they just have not played well. well what's going on with your old team? And, and you said it best, Matt. You you come off and you got to go play Memphis. Style of play just doesn't clash. These two is totally opposites and whoever gets the best of it, and especially coming off a of back-to-back, it's tough. What I love about J.B. Bickerstaff, we're not going to follow the trend. We're not shooting a lot of threes. Yep. We're, pace, no. We're going to play at this possession pace game where we're going to slow down the possessions. Our leading score maybe have 17, 18, but we're going to have four or five guys in double figures. And I'm going to play a lot of guys, and we're going to grind you and beat you up, and I just think that's a a matchup that the Portland Trailblazers just doesn't have that type of style of players on their roster to be able to go against, defend, or score against because it won't be a lot of possessions. Portland is just 8 of 24 in that fourth quarter. Uh, Blazers, again, big picture, not playing well right now. What what needs to change for them to get back to where they were at the beginning of the season? You know, I think, Matt, we, we love C.J. and Dane. But when one of them has a subpar game, Dane was 4 for 18, then you start to say, who else right. is consistent right. enough? And then when we're looking at that board, it's not all about scoring, but it's just who's going to be consistent, whatever his role is, every night. I just don't think they have that third and fourth guy. I do like some of the new guys. Stoskis at times has a big games. I like the young kid, Zach. But they don't have consistently right. somebody's going to be that third and fourth option. And not just scoring, but playmaking as well, playmaking. with the exception of maybe Evan Turner coming off their bench. There aren't a lot of other playmakers on that roster. And, and Matt, you make a great point. I mean, I think – we keep saying, we keep hoping that a third player can emerge. Nurkic is, is, is a good player, mm -hmm. very talented, but, but this is kind of who they are. This is who they are. Uh, unless, you, you know, something big happens, maybe a trade, you bring someone in. Um, but so much is put on Lillard and McCollum and, ha and for them having to uh, produce and score and be, and be big every time they step on the court. And look, eight straight losses to, to winning teams, you know, haven't had a, a win against a winning team since I think it was the Celtics, like in early November. Mm -hmm. So this is alarming. This is alarming. And, and obviously right now they're still in the picture and things are so crazy right now out west that you're never too far in or too far out in the playoff picture. But, um, you know, I, I'm a little worried. I don't, I don't know if they have that ability. You know, Lillard and McCall, this have to be great every night. And even then there's no guarantee. You mentioned Nurkic. He went one for 15 yes. tonight, which has got to be the worst shooting night of the season for a player who took 15 shots. I mean, I can't imagine anybody went 0 for 15. Can they win ugly I games? I can't remember. They can't right. win ugly games. Right. It's a great question. Yep. Uh, Grizzlies can. And obviously Mike Conley is sort of the engine that makes that thing go offensively in particular, well, really on both ends of the floor. Uh, you never know because of the, the way the West is right now, but could this be the all-star season? Could this be it finally? It could be, and, and I hope it does for his sake because he has been one of the most underrated point guards. He's, he's kind of your, your favorite point guard's favorite point guard. You know, he just, <laughs> He's a guy that everyone respects. He's a guy that you know when you, when you match up with him, he's going to bring it. For whatever reason, uh, numbers game, great point guards out West, he's never really had that recognition. But after being hurt last year, along with Gasol, uh, and now they're back. I mean, this is just, you know, for them, this is fantastic. It gave some of the other players last year a chance to develop. Uh, but they've, they've maintained that culture of who they are as a team, and it starts with that point guard. He runs the show out there. He's the one that's the leader. And, and he's still showing that he can play at an elite level. And I, and I look at him, Matt, and I think if they had a players only, all-star selection, just players, Mike mm -hmm. Conley's an all-star. 3D! You know what I mean? And I, that's the reason I look at it. <laughs> yeah. You know, as far as everything else goes into being an all-star, where there's wins and there's also media, right. I don't think he'll ever win that 
part of it, being able to dominate some of the other point guards that we had that people love in branding. But right. when you just start talking about if players had to write down the most difficult point guards to play against night in, night out, Mike Conley would be an all-star. Hmm. Grizzlies get the win tonight, 92.